Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Low Code Revolution, where we'll be showing you the capability of Power BI Quick Report feature within the model driven power apps. And today I'm bringing in my friend and colleague, Scott Sewell, to help walk us through it. Hi everyone, you're welcome to another episode of Low Code Revolution. Here with me is my friend and colleague, Scott Sewell, and he's going to be showing us how do we do Power BI quick report feature within the model driven power apps. And um, welcome, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hey, it's good to see you again. Hope things are going well. I'm, I'm excited about this topic because it's so useful. Yeah, very, very useful because I'm seeing the combination of Power BI and also um, the Power Apps and the model driven application itself. That's right. Yeah. The two combination, it's the Power Platform is is my first love. I've, I've been on the Power Platform for actually literally over 20 years now, beginning with Dynamics uh, with Microsoft CRM 1.0. But over the time, I kept finding that there was such value in the data that's being captured. Um, and within the platform, one of the best ways to show off that data is using Power BI. Now, you're seeing on my screen a, an example of a Power BI dashboard that's been custom built to kind of reflect the, that, the um, you know, some ways in which we can see the data coming out of Dynamics or you know, it could be coming out of Power Apps or any of the model-driven apps that are built off of Dataverse. And this data can be enriched and shown and really, really cool. But it's kind of a there's a there's an effort to get started in that until now. Recently, the product team had introduced what we call quick reports. And I was excited to get this chance to show it to you. If it's all right, I'll show you a demo of what how we use quick reports to get started in this low code, no code approach to getting data summarized out of power out of dynamics or uh, dataverse or the Power Platform and show it up in a, in a quick report with no code. Cool, cool, All right. cool. I, I'm happy with that. So take off the floor and just show us some cool things. Certainly, yeah. So normally within a, any of the applications, you're going to have views of data that you're comfortable with. Now, these views could be data, uh, like in this case, I'm looking at open opportunities. Um, and I can see that, you know, this is a sample data set, so it's only like 20 records. So, but I could see that and I could look at the visuals on that. I could export it to Excel, but I really want to see a visual summary of this data. Um, in the past, I would either build an in, a, a dashboard built into Dynamics and I had some limited options there, or I could, you know, set up a Power BI dashboard, which I love to do, but it takes a little bit more, um, it's not as fast to get started on that as maybe you might want to just do a quick visual of what's going on. So if you'll notice up in the ribbon, there's now a button called visualize this view. This is the gateway that lets us take the view that I'm looking at and the columns that I see here uh, and uh, applied the filter that I see in here. And I want to visualize it. So I'm going to click on this visualize this view. And it'll take a second to get started and we'll go ahead and let it load. So as the data starts loading, we have a choice of being able to either pre-select some of the columns, or we can just let it default to the to the existing report, uh, the columns that are in the uh, the report. Now we see that the report is ready, and it's going to auto load in a second. And there it is. Now what we're seeing is this report that's been automatically generated based on the data that's in my view and be able to summarize it as such. And I can actually even modify it, start working on it in different ways. Like in this case, I see a, a summary of estimated revenue by rating code. Um, I might want to say, you know what? I want to see that not as a cluster bar chart, but I want to see it as a, a vertical bar chart. Let's change it to that. Now I can see some differences of, of what the data might look like. Or instead of uh, by rating, I might want to change that instead of rating, I want to look at it by owner. I can click that and suddenly the report changes to show that new view. Now I'm using this right here on the own object side of things. This is another example where I'm looking at a pipeline. And a lot of times people would like to see those instead of cluster charts, they might want to see them as a funnel chart. So I can do exactly that 
and uh, I see the funnel. I can sort the axis to uh, based on pipeline phase and sort it to uh, ascending. And so we're seeing that pipeline phase show up. So how much at revenue is in my pipeline by stage? Um, I can change the values of different things and say, you know, and, and be able to measure it different ways. But the, the important thing is I'm already on a data data set that's based on my view that I just created. Um, there's another option here that I can use, which I can show the data table below. It's going to regenerate that and show me this list of open opportunities down at the bottom. The next step is we might take a chance and say, hey, I want to go a step further and I might want to export this or save it and then load it up into Power BI. I can do just that. I can click save. And from that, I'll give it a name. I'll call it David's report. I'll save it to my workspace. Once I save that, it's going to save that report and... Now it's been saved and I can go over to my Power BI workspace and refresh it. And now you see that I have David's report right here in Power BI uh, where I can go back to it over time. And again, it's, it's incorporating both the columns that I've selected as well as the view, uh, the filters that are applied to that view underlying it. And now this report is always going to show me a quick summary of my open opportunities. I can go further with it. I can edit it. I can save it. I can create a modified, but that's enough for today. I think this is a really cool opportunity to be able to take advantage of being able to view the data that's sitting inside of Dynamics with a quick visualization using Power BI. Um, and by the way, just as a as a side note, you don't actually only you only need a a free license of Power BI in order to accomplish this along with your Dynamics in, in place. So. Even better, you know, what's what's better than free? So it's a really great way to get started in it. And uh, any questions, David? How do you like that? Have you seen that before? Very, very yeah. fantastic because it's just like um, the work we do in the Power BI service where you can also generate your report. And seeing that capability in the Power Apps and also in the model-driven application, it is very fantastic. You don't need to start setting up, doing the whole connection. It just gives you the data immediately. And you go back to your Power BI service and you can even continue from there. David, thanks very much for the opportunity to show it to you. And it's it's such a cool way to be able to interact on the data and be able to really expose the, the rich value of the data that's sitting inside a Dataverse with that no, low code, no code approach that's so much that gives so much power to everyone that's uh, on the platform. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. So were you able to, and I, I appreciate what you're able to show us. You were able to show us the capability between the two applications within Power Platform. And I kind of have, I'm kind of happy that people who are not real, um, like high level data analysts will be able to do low code development within reports and they can get their report within one minute or two minutes by just using the future that you showed us right now. Yeah, it's so cool. And there's more to come in this and I'd encourage you to try it out. Um, take advantage of it and see what you what you like. Give us feedback. Let us know what you like about it. What would you like to see in the future? Because this is an area that we think is uh is, is has tremendous opportunity to help expand the value of the platform uh, to more and more users, uh, including users who aren't quite yet comfortable with Power BI. This is such a great introduction to the process. I agree. I agree. Thank you very much for coming to the show. And I will, I'm happy to always bring you back to give us more things or more features within the model driven application and also Power BI. Thank you very much, Scott. Thanks, David. Have a great day.